What's up, guys? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. Hey, come on! Lee! Lee! Are you done? You done now? Leave me alone. I'm just out here having fun. Now get! Go! Thank you. What's up, guys? My name is Scott, and you're watching... What's up, guys? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. About a year ago, we shot a Stretch Armstrong with a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Turns out, Mr. Stretch Armstrong here is pretty tough. He's kind of bulletproof. <laughs> he stopped several pistols, but he did not stop the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Well, I want to do this test again, but I want to hit him with something much bigger. I want to hit him with a 50 cal, a 50 BMG. But, if he's not going to stop a 500 Magnum, he's definitely not going to stop a 50 BMG. So today, we have five Stretch Armstrongs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot Mr. Stretch Armstrong here with a 22, a 9mm, and a 45 just to show you that he is pretty bulletproof. Then we're gonna line up all five and we're gonna hit him with a 50 BMG. If there's anything left, I brought a few more rifles and we'll see how Stretch Armstrong holds up. Okay, let's get started. We got Stretch Armstrong set up down range. Don't worry, I know he's kinda hard to see, so I've got you another camera set up down there so you'll actually see him get hit by the bullet. Now we're gonna be starting out with 22 long rifle. This is a Smith & Wesson Victory. And we're loaded up with some 40 grain lead round nose. I can't tell if we hit him or not. Let's go see. Okay, so Mr. Stretch Armstrong got hit in his right peck and it did not make it through. He's bleeding a little bit. Got some goop coming out. We'll stick a piece of duct tape on that and we'll go ahead and hit him with a nine millimeter. Now we have a Glock Gen 4 Model 19, and we're gonna be loaded up with some Colt defense ammunition. These are made by Double Tap. These are nine millimeter, 124 grain jacketed hollow points. I think we just grazed his arm. <laughs> yep. We just grazed his arm. Let's hit him one more time. Let's go check it out. Okay, it looks like Stretch Armstrong is hurting pretty bad. So there's where we grazed his arm and we hit the cinder block. This time, we hit him right there on his right side and it looks like the bullet actually came out. So that's a different result than we had last time. He actually stopped the nine millimeter before. Let's hit him, oh, whoa, there it is right there. Here's the bullet. Yeah, that's it. Well, it came out the back, but it didn't do anything to that cinder block. I'm pretty sure if we hit him dead center with the nine, it would stop it. Let's go see if it stopped at that time. Forgot to hit record, that's great. Okay, did it stop at that time? It, it did, yes, all right, so he stopped the nine millimeter that time. He's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> Let's put some duct tape on his wounds and we will hit him with the 45 ACP. Now we're gonna hit him with the 45 ACP. This is a Springfield Armory 1911 model A1 and we're loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 45 ACP, 230 grain jacketed hollow points.
I hit him in that right shoulder again. Okay, so first we hit him in his shoulder here, and there's the bullet right there. <laughs> but you see our center block is kind of cracked, and I thought, well, if that wasn't there, it might have pushed through the back. So I thought we'll shoot him one more time, kind of hit him in the crotch area, and I saw the bullet bounce off somewhere over there, and I can't find it. I couldn't help myself. I had to shoot him one more time. Poor Stretch Armstrong. Well, he got hit right here in the leg, went into his chest, and then it did not come out the back. But the force that traveled through him hit this cinder block and managed to break it the rest of the way. Oh man, that's funny. Now the moment we've been waiting for. I have all five Stretch Armstrong set up down range. We have our Serbu RN50, and we're gonna be loaded up with a 50 BMG armor piercing incendiary. And I remembered to bring a table, but I forgot to bring a chair. Oh my gosh. Pieces of Stretch Armstrong just flew everywhere. <laughs> so we had five Stretch Armstrongs. Here is half of one. We'll just set this right here. Got goop on it. I don't... Oh my goodness, we found the bullet. It is right there. Check that out. <laughs> I cannot believe that we caught this thing. That is awesome. Well, now that we found the bullet, let's see if we can find the rest of our Stretch Armstrongs. So here's another one here, half of him. Oh, this guy here, that was, no, this is number five. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> oh, we have a leg. Here's an upper torso of a stretch arm strong. <laughs> Here's another stretch arm strong. Uh oh. Mm. So much carnage. Stuck to a piece of wood. Well, I don't think we're going to be shooting these with uh, rifles, too. Now, I saw a piece fly way over here. I know I saw a piece fly way over here, but I just don't know where. Not seeming to have any luck finding it. Oh well. So we have all five Stretch Armstrongs, except for half of that one, and I'm pretty sure that's the piece I saw fly off that way, but I'm not having any luck finding it. So we don't know what order these were in, but we do know that this one was in the back. And if I had to guess, I would say this one was in the front because it took the most damage 
and you can see some good burn marks here from the incendiary. So if we flip number five over, we can see a little hole right here, and there's some burn marks around it. So I'm guessing that's where the bullet came out of him. And then it's smashed into that cinder block, and you can see there's cinder block all over the back of him where it's stuck to that goop. But the bullet did not go much further than that. No. Oh. I wonder if Walmart will give me a refund. I still can't believe that we found the core to that armor piercing incendiary round. I'll keep this and I don't know, maybe I'll give it away. We'll see. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those are in the description down below, or you can find them on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.